Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Swing or the Swing Grid in Reaper. Now, the idea of using Swing is creating an adjustment for the difference between 16th notes or 8th notes or even quarter notes, where you can adjust how the syncopation feels. Let me give you some examples. And I could use this grid in Reaper. I have a MIDI track in front of me here, and it's a simple drum part that has 16th notes playing in a very straight fashion, meaning the distance between each one of them is exactly the same. Let's hear it. So the 16th note feel is on the kick drum, and it's also on the hi-hat. Let's double click this item to see it in the MIDI editor. Here's our kick part, here's our snare part, and here's the hi-hat. Now, as I said, it's a very straight feel. The distance between each 16th notes, which is the grid right here, is exactly the same. If we wanted to shift that to give it a different feel, which is known as swing, we could change the grid down here from 16th note straight to swing. And that's going to shift our grid to change the spacing of each one of our 16th notes. And like I said earlier, it could be eighth notes or quarter notes, but the process is the same. So let's adjust the swing over here and watch the grid. See how the grid lines change? But if you notice, the notes aren't changing. If you want those to change, let's put this back to zero. We would open up Quantize, make sure it's set to Grid, All Notes, and adjust the position. Then we can go down here and readjust our swing. And watch what happens. If we bring it up, notice the notes move with the grid. So if I put it at 50, it sounds like this. That's a swing feel. If we bring it up to 75, it feels like this. Or if you want it to be more subtle, we bring it down to about 25. Which sounds a bit more straight. Now, of course, we can move this to any position you prefer, or put it back to being straight, either there or over here, which sounds like this. Now, if you don't want the notes to move, we could just close this, but we could still adjust the grid. We could put this back to swing, maybe put this at 50. And it still plays straight, but we can move notes or snap them to the swing grid in this editor. So I can grab this kick right here, maybe duplicate it. And with snapping turned on, it's going to snap to that grid, to our swing grid, making it a lot easier to work with tracks that swing. So this is how it works in the MIDI editor. We could also use the swing grid in the arrangement window, working with items or audio. So here we have the same part that we just heard, but each instrument is now a piece of audio or an item. And it's also straight 16th notes, but we could also adjust this using our swing grid. If we go up over here, turn the grid on and turn on snapping and then right click it. Right from over here, we could adjust our grid settings and our swing grid. So let's turn this on and it starts off at zero. So nothing's going to change, but we can adjust our grid or the grid lines right down here using the setting. So if we move this now, it's not going to change the timing of our audio, but it will change the grid. So if I move it up, see the lines down here change 
to match the swing that we want. But if you want to change the audio at the same time, choose the option down here. Adjust all items when changing swing. So if we choose this, and then readjust our swing to like 50%, notice the items over here start to move. Let's bring it up. See how they change? So let's put it at 50, and let's hear that. Now they swing. We could adjust it to 75. Or we can make it more subtle down over here. Or we could put it back to straight and turn this off. Like I said earlier, we don't have to change the audio. We can just adjust the grid right over here with this turned off to affect our grid lines. So if we put it at 75, we can now move an item with snapping turned on, and it's gonna snap to that swing grid instead of the straight grid that you normally have. So it makes it easier to work with music that swings. Now, in most situations, when you're adjusting the swing down over here, you don't wanna change everything. Let's say you have a bass part or guitars or even a vocal that you've cut up and you don't want to shift the timing of it. You're happy with that? You just want to adjust the drums or maybe a shaker. In those situations, choose this then change this to selected. Now it's only going to change the timing of selected items. So let's choose a hi-hat by double-clicking it. And if we adjust it this way, notice the kick isn't going to change. The timing of the hi-hat moves, but the kick doesn't. So like I said, in most situations, you're not going to want to move everything, but you might want to move some things. Or you can just change the grid without affecting the timing of your items. Let me give you another example where this is very useful. In this project, I have a drum loop that I dragged into Reaper, and I know the tempo of this loop is 95 beats per minute, but I'm not sure of the swing. And I want to add a hi-hat part on top, but I want to match the swing of this loop. So if we use swing grid, it'll make it a lot easier. Let me show you. Here's the loop. As you can see, it's perfectly on the grid. So it's at bar three, it ends at bar five but there's a bit of swing in there. So we put a 16th note hi-hat on top of this. It's gonna sound like this. It's a bit stiff and it's really noticeable on these double kick hits right here. So let's turn on our grid and snapping. Let's right click the settings. We'll choose 16th notes to find our swing. Then we can adjust this to see where this loop is actually swinging. So let's get really close to these double kicks. And we can see the second hit is right on the grid, but the first hit isn't. That's where the swinging is actually taking place. So this note right here is a 16th note. So let's turn on swing grid. And let's leave this off. And if we adjust the grid, we can place it right on that first kick. And we can see it's swinging at 62%. Let's check out the other kick and see if it's the same. Right over here. Bring it down. This is straight 16th notes. And this is where it swings at about 63. Now we could choose the option to adjust just the selected items when changing swing. And let's select the hi-hat. Let's put this back to zero. 
then we can bring this back up to 63. Notice how high it changes to match. Let's go right there. Zoom out. Let's see how it sounds now. That sounds a lot better. Before, it's way too stiff. And after, now it matches the loop that we dragged in. And now we could keep using this grid in the rest of the song. Maybe turn this off, but still use this grid setting to align other items right on it. So if we brought in a snare or a kick, we could put it on this grid instead of the straight 16th note grid. So that's pretty much it. That's using swing or the swing grid in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom!